Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, how do they feel? Okay, so the person on your mind for this reading, um, how do they feel at this time? Okay, please remember that these are general readings and not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. So today we have three tarot decks and three crystals to choose from. For crystal number one, the clear quartz crystal with the world of visions tarot. For crystal number two, the lapis lazuli crystal with the light seers tarot and for crystal number three the red jasper crystal with the anime tarot okay so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most if you're drawn to more than one that is perfectly fine you could have messages in more than one reading okay choose however you'd like and i will see you in your reading if you resonated with crystal number one, the clear quartz crystal, and the world of visions tarot, this will be a reading. Okay, crystal number one. So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? So the person on your mind, how do they feel at this time? Let's see for crystal number one. How does crystal number one's person feel? How does crystal number one? Thank you. Mm. They're remembering times that you had. Memories of the forgotten self. So they're really looking back at memories that you've made um, together. Could be feeling pretty nostalgic here. Mm. Could also have a past life connection with that card as well. Let's see what the tarot has to say. First one out, two of coins. So balance, nice. So they could be feeling more balanced in their own energy, uh, feeling more ready. Hmm. More ready. Could have been for some of you, maybe someone who really wasn't ready for, you know, what they were feeling here when you first met or something like that. Let's see. What else for crystal number one? The lovers, wow, yeah, they were feeling quite a bit. Uh, lots of deep love here, powerful soul love. Um, could have been a little bit too much to handle at some point with this message of ready, okay? They might not have been ready to, you know, dive into something where they were feeling so strongly. They could have had some fear. Okay, we'll get more with the clarifiers. Crystal number one, how does that person feel? Wow, what is this? Two of cups on top. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Amazing. So having to choose a direction with the chariot card, okay? Um, having to choose to walk away from something in order to bring in union with you. So there's something emotional in this person's life that they're in the process of letting go of. And yeah, they're wanting to move forward toward union here. Interesting energy. Um, feeling like, yeah, balance is here too. So I'm feeling with these three cards together, I am feeling like this is a process that is either happening right now or has already happened for this person with the balance card the two coins coming out first how does this person feel so this person is in love with you with the two of cups they're really wanting to come into a union that is also a very high level soulmate or twin flame reunion card how does crystal number one's person feel
trying to kind of save my voice a little bit. I've been having a lot of private readings and a lot of pick a card readings, so my voice is a little bit um, tired. So, mm. so if I'm not talking quite as much or if I'm talking a little bit lower, I apologize, but uh, I want to continue doing this, but it is difficult on my voice. Knight of Wands and Six of Swords, wow. So yeah, they are really wanting to rush forward toward you. Six of Swords is about forward movement. Knight of Wands is also about forward movement, taking action with passion. So they're very passionate about you, really wanting to create some change and move forward. The universe could also be helping you out with the Six of Swords. So things kind of being divinely orchestrated here to make this happen. Okay, a little bit of divine help. The divine always has your back, always helping us along on our journey. Let's see, two of coins for crystal number one. Why the two of coins? How does that person feel? Feeling more balanced and ready. So ready could be that they were waiting to release something from their past too. Eight of cups, you know. Why the two of coins for crystal number one, please? How does that person feel? How does that person feel, please? Crystal number one. Why the, thank you. We got two cards here, too. Yeah, three of coins. Okay. All right. Yeah, see? So it was about other people. There is some sort of plan with the three of coins to move forward toward a new journey now. Um, it could be about releasing other people because we have the three of coins here. So it could be um, a third party doesn't necessarily mean a love connection. Although we do have an emotional walking away, so it could be for some of you. Um, but it doesn't always have to be. But there is something in this person's life that they were needing to release. Um, I feel like now they have with that balance. And, well, um, now they have with this balance. And they're wanting to start something new. So on the lover's card, lots of healing took place between you and intuition, very, very strong intuition between you. Um, wow, powerful. There's this deep inner knowing. This person feels um, deeply that you are their person. You know, the lover's card, it's like the choice, the, the one that they choose always at the heart. There was a lot of healing that needed to take place, though. For them to get to this point, maybe, of balance, they maybe needed to really dive deep into their own, um, you know, wounding. Yeah, their own emotions. Hmm. So feeling ready and their intuition is, you know, letting them know you're on the right track here. Keep on going, you know, that's what I'm getting here. Two of Cups, Chariot, Eight of Cups. Let's see what this is about. Death. There it is. Oh my God, that was fast too. Something had to end first, and now it has, is what I'm feeling. So Death and Rebirth um, was definitely behind this walking away um, from something. Okay. Let's see what else. That's what I feel made your person feel more ready, more balanced, because now their energy is cleared. They're free of whatever this is, you know, for your person. These are general readings, so it could be a lot of different things. Knight of Wands, Six of Swords for crystal number one. So they're feeling very passionate about moving forward. There, I feel there's a lot of excitement in your person about this. Really wanting, I mean, look at the two cards, two of cups and lovers side by side. This is powerful love they're feeling. So to experience that love is going to be amazing. You know, with this full card, they're, they're wanting this new journey. Oh, look at, yeah, see how happy you make them. Beautiful. Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. I mean, uh, yeah, Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Sun. So this is about moving forward with passion toward happiness. You make them very happy. Um, they do feel amazing with you. That's why they want to come toward you. Very beautiful. Their intuition, too. Their intuition is telling them you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Keep on going, you know. So this is good. Let's get some Oracle cards here for crystal number one. 
How does that person feel? Ooh, two again. Finances and career and romantic feelings. Okay. So they might have had something to, this could have to do with finances and career too. Okay. Could be something that they had to let go of. Maybe they had to leave a job behind, you know, that was no longer serving. Maybe they weren't being paid what they were worth and they were, you know, I deserve more than this. I'm going to move on. I want to get some sort of stability in my life so I can really provide. Um, yeah. And powerful romantic feelings. They're worth exploring. So they're feeling like it's time. It's worth exploring this connection. Very nice. Let's get more. How does crystal number one's person feel? How does crystal number one's person feel? I have one here. Give your relationship a chance. So it's time to work on the partnership. Yeah, so I feel like this is taking action steps. Working on your relationship, okay? So they are feeling, and it's falling right near that balanced and ready, see? and passion beautiful yeah lots of passion for you allow your heart look at this allow your heart and soul to sing with joy there's that sun energy you know feeling like inner child happiness on top of the world bliss so you really do light this person up let's get more how does crystal number one's person feel how does crystal number one's person feel? Oh, I think we have a flipper here. We do. Well, oh, passion again. <laughs> wow, they're super passionate. I love it. Insane chemistry. Oh, okay. Insane chemistry they're feeling with you. Very nice. So they are feeling that strong magnetic connection with you. Powerful. Wanting to come forward near that knight of wands. Nice. Working on it. Yep, so they may have sabotaged in the past is what I'm getting here, and that might just be for some of you, but they are rebuilding, they're being persistent, and they're working on it. So whatever it is that they've had to, you know, work on in their life, it's falling on finances and career too. See how that happened there? So it definitely could be for some of you, it could have been something to do with that, that this person, they kind of had to leave it behind, you know, and it can be emotional, so... um because, you know, maybe it's the people that they work with that they were very attached to. And, you know, it's emotional to leave it behind. But at the same time, they know it's the best thing for them. What else? Ooh, almost dropped them on the floor. We have two here. The dragonfly. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. Transformation. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. So things coming to light. Anything that was a secret, I feel like if they weren't sharing something with you, um, and it could have to do with this ending, okay, this relationship is over, see? No second chances. So for some of you, it could have been a romantic relationship that they were ending or in the process of ending, but they're not giving any more second chances. The relationship is over. They know it needs to end, and they want things to come to light here so they do want to share something with you about that maybe you didn't know what was going on or you know you were kind of feeling left out in the dark over here not knowing what was happening this person is wanting to share is what I'm feeling with that be light-hearted and things coming to light let's get more for crystal number one how does their person feel how does their person feel? Crystal number one's person, please. Oh, we got a couple here. We have sacred space. Sacred space. So really wanting to spend some time. What I'm feeling here is like alone, really kind of reflecting. Um, could be about this decision, okay? About this decision to walk away. Struggle, yeah, they could be struggling, um, with that decision, you know, they could be, it might not be that the decision is hard is what I'm feeling. It might just be the circumstance is what I'm getting there. So the circumstance, maybe they, maybe for some of you, it is a job or something and they've been struggling along. 
um, not getting, you know, what they were worth here. And now they're wanting to better themselves, you know, either start a business or, you know, maybe find someone that will pay them what they're worth. You know, it could have been that for some of you too, because the circumstances is coming through and new beginnings. Yeah. So they're ready. You know, uh, first card out was more balanced, more ready for this. So I do feel like whatever it is, the work that they've been doing here, whether it be taking action and leaving something behind or inner work as well with the four of swords, because that's about healing. Um, it's leading to this new beginning. It's leading to a more balanced, um, internal energy, you know, remaining calm and omens. Wow. So they've been seeing signs and synchronicities and omens about you, your connection and where this is going. Like I said, deep inner knowing with that intuition is on point. So I feel like this person, um, has definitely, I feel like they could be seeing signs also, omens, about whatever's ending for them as well. Okay, so it could be a little bit of a mixture of both there. I don't remember if I cleared those. Crystal number one, how does this person feel? A, wow, there it is. Yeah, a personal issue reaches resolution. We have full moon in Cancer. Okay, so I do feel like whatever it is, it is reaching its resolution now. Communication is key. Don't let pride get in your way. Ooh, see, so yeah, they could have been, you know, like the ego could have been trying to scare them out of it <laughs> um, and letting pride get in the way. You know, people might have been trying to convince them otherwise or something like that. Full moon in Leo and new moon in Gemini and communication is key. So I feel like this here, this communication, I feel like they do want to communicate with you. They're feeling like the need to communicate what's been going on, okay? Um, maybe because for some of you, you've been left in the dark is what I was feeling here. Oh, and a new start is coming. Yeah, new moon, new start coming. Very nice. Maybe it's around the time of a new moon. I wonder. Could be. Okay, let's get more for crystal number one. How does that person feel? Ooh, fancy flyers. We got two. Uh, can I show you? I can show you that one, not that one. Okay, so surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So again, I feel like they're feeling ready to let go of whatever it is. And then we have this one here, which is about oh, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. I can't believe I almost forgot what was on that card. I haven't used them as much lately. So the love for you is as deep as the ocean. I feel like that is the driving force here with the lover's card, High Priestess, knowing and the Two of Cups, they love you very much, so. Let's get more. How does Crystal Number One's person feel? How does Crystal Number One's person feel, please, at this time? Nothing else wanting to come out of this deck. How does crystal number one's person feel? Oh, ah, is that one falling? Nope. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's just get another one. May as well. I make a huge mess with this deck. There we go. <laughs> okay. So we have one, two, three more. Oh, that one I can't show you. That one I can. That one I can. Okay. So first nothing came out and then three came out. So this one here, Secret Admirer, nice. So someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So this person may have strong feelings that they haven't told you. That could be, it's falling on top of communication too. So that could be something that they're wanting to communicate. Also big transformation happening, third eye open, seeing things from a different perspective. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, nice. 
So they're wanting to do what feels right in their heart now and freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. See, that's kind of what I was feeling. This could be already done by some of you, okay? Um, whatever this is that this person is going through could already be because of that balance card, you know? I feel like it could be already set in stone where it's already something that they've taken care of. They've already worked through whatever it is in their healing from it okay let's get more how does crystal number one's person feel please how does crystal number one's person feel oh fancy we got a couple here i don't know are they falling yeah i guess so may as well just get one more while i'm at it crystal number one's person how do they feel okay so we have one, two, three, four. Okay. So we have be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. So they could be coming forward with some sort of communication or some sort of action to show you that they still care. Ooh, the union of hearts. Yeah, see another card about union. This is another powerful soulmate or twin flame union card. Doesn't have to be. Of course, only you know if this person is your twin flame, but this is wanting to come together in a relationship, demonstrate love. So, yep, acting on it. So they're feeling really more ready to act on this love and demonstrate that love for you. Ooh, and building solid foundations, committed. Ooh, wow. So they are committed to this connection and wanting to set a solid foundation for this you know, union here. Wow, pretty powerful stuff there. Let's get you some message cards too from your person. What would crystal number one's person like to say at this time? How do they feel or what would they like to say? Crystal number one's person, please. How do they feel or what would they like to say? Whoa, none and then three. <laughs> okay. I am so afraid to lose you. I miss you more than you know, and I'm sorry. Huh. So they're afraid to lose you. They're afraid, afraid to lose some sort of an opportunity here. They're missing you. Okay, and always keep in mind, some of these might not resonate for everyone. I'm sorry. So they may have some sort of an apology for something. Mm, yeah, they might want to apologize for something between you in the past or something like that. Whoa, let me get two more. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. Wow. So they see you as this beacon uh, that they're working to get to. And you bring a lot of light into their, ooh, wow, into their life. And then you are my twin flame. So for some of you, they are feeling like you're their twin flame, their divine counterpart. Okay, let's get some of these too for crystal number one. What would crystal number one's person like to say? Or how do they feel? I'm ready to take my mask off. Okay, so yeah, someone hidden feelings, right? Secret admirer, uh, ready. Maybe that's what they're ready for, to take off their mask, tell you how things have been going in their life, be more open, more vulnerable, more communicative um, about their feelings, how they're feeling, their emotions, things like that. Definitely feeling more ready for that as well. So that's good. What else, please, for crystal number one? How does their person feel? Or what would they like to say at this time? Crystal number one's person, please. How do they feel? Oh. What would they like to say? Okay, well, we're going to have to sort this out. I want to kiss you. Wow. Okay, so I'm afraid that I lost you forever, and I know we have a soul connection. So all three of them came out together here. So I want to kiss you. So really wanting to be close to you, missing you. So really wanting to be close to you, some physical intimacy here. 
I know we have a soul connection. So another energy of that. So this person definitely feeling that strong soul bond. And I'm afraid that I lost you forever. So another energy for some of you where they feel like they've lost you. They're afraid to lose you. They feel like they lost you. Um, yeah, they're feeling pretty motivated is what I'm feeling here with these cards coming through. Feeling motivated to create some sort of change. Okay. Let's get a few of these out for you as well. For crystal number one, how does their person feel? Or what would they like to say at this time, please? I want you. Yeah, so they do want to be with you. This person is really um, wanting that union, wanting to come together. Two together here. It took all I had to stay away from you. Wow. So feeling like for some of you, they had to stay away from you. Could have been, like I said, for, for people here who maybe they were in another relationship and they knew they just had to stay away from you for the time being, you know. But it was hard for them. I am looking forward to starting over with a clean slate. Falling right on top of I'm sorry here. So yeah, there could be an apology coming and hoping for your forgiveness and wanting to start clean. We did have new beginning energy coming through a couple a few times a couple of few times here. I am holding back so many emotions. Yeah. So that's them wanting to open up, you know. They're holding them back right now, but they're really wanting to open up about their emotions. So Wow. Okay. Crystal number one. That is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the Lapis Lazuli crystal and the Light Seer's Tarot. This will be your reading, okay, crystal number two. So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you at this time? How is crystal number two's person feeling, please? Ooh, growth, nice. So beautiful energy to come through, we have growth. So things are, I feel like this person has done ooh, a lot of inner work. So they're feeling, um, you know, more stable, level energy, really balanced. Um, yeah, lots of personal growth taking place here in your person. Mm, beautiful energy. They might have seen a lot of growth in you as well. Let's see with the tarot. I don't remember if I cleared them. Let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number two, please. How does their person feel? Crystal number two, how does their person feel? Healing, yep, that's that personal growth. I told you, they were taking time. They might have been at a distance, but they were working on self here is what I'm feeling with that growth card being the first one out. So we could be, you know, no one's ever fully healed, but I feel like this could be like the tail end of this healing phase, I guess. I guess we could call it like a phase of healing for your person. But you might have been at a distance for some of you, of course. Might not be for all of you. These are general readings. Wow, yeah, but look at this. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as very stable, uh, able to take care of business. They're also feeling more stable in themselves, too. Um, also feeling like they could have really balanced their masculine and feminine side here. Working on their stability. Could be also growing their finances or career or business here as well. Hanged man. Wow. Surrender. So they've accepted how they're feeling here. Mm. Done denying it. Okay. Wow. Big message there. Done denying it. So for some of you, your person could have been denying their feelings for you for quite some time here. Done denying it now. Surrendered to it. Accepted it. Let's see what else. For crystal number two, that's huge growth right there. Realizing what they're feeling and just kind of 
knowing that, you know, they're on the right path. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is about spiritual awakening, uh, spiritual lessons, ascension, really raising the vibration. So yeah, this person has done tremendous amounts of inner work. This is also about commitment as well. So they could be feeling more ready to commit to some sort of a relationship here. Okay, maybe they were denying it in the past out of fear. Mm. Okay, crystal number two, how does their person feel? Chariot for the Four of Swords. So can I get another one? So they now they're on the fast track is what I'm feeling here with that one. But I just want one more to see what the Four of Swords is about here. What they could have been. Okay, their heart. Okay. So they had some heart wounding in the past. They might have been closed down. That's why they were denying their feelings or distant. Um, but now they've healed their heart and now they're on the fast track to, you know, choosing success. What do they truly want? They want love. They want true unconditional love with this Queen of Cups. And I feel like you are the person that they feel they receive that from with this Queen of Cups as well. It's like you love them properly, you know, the way that they always wanted to be loved. And now they're on the fast track. So this could indicate some fast forward movement toward you. Okay. Definitely could be quick incoming communication or something surrounding a relationship or commitment of some sort. Crystal number two, why the Queen of Pentacles? How does that person feel? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Feeling more stable, feeling that you're very stable too. King, wow. Divine counterparts, possibly. King of Pentacles and the Queen together, balancing their masculine and feminine energy, see? And I do feel like for some of you, this definitely could be a divine counterpart we're talking about. Could be a twin flame. Of course, only you know that. But this could be them coming back around after a period of personal growth. The hanged man surrendering to the divine, you know, surrendering to the feelings. Done denying it, you know, really accepting it for what it is. Why the hanged man? For crystal number two, how does that person feel? At this time, oh, page of cups. Very good. Well, this is really good because it's about visualization, dreaming of the future, dreaming of that perfect love story that they want with you. Okay. And really, you know, working with the universe here with the Page of Cups, really um, drawing that energy in, feeling the emotion of actually being with you. Look at this, making hand hearts, something about hand hearts for someone here. Okay. Okay. Making hand hearts. So this you're on this person's mind a whole lot. Okay. Could even be dreaming about you at night as well. The Hierophant. Why the Hierophant? Decision about being single. Oh, interesting. Okay, so with the higher event being about commitment, for some of you, this might not be for all of you, but your person might have been married, okay? Um, decision to walk away. They were at a crossroads for a while, unsure of which way to go, and now they're choosing that direction, um, and that is toward being single, independent, and available for a new start in love, okay? So, wow. They've learned, yeah, they've learned their spiritual lessons. There, there was a lesson relationship or, or marriage or something. They were learning a lot of lessons during this situation. Hmm. For some of you, it might not have been a marriage. It could have been just a relationship situation coming through too. Hmm. Whatever it was, they're going to feel free and independent afterwards. Could be even a job too, you know. Free and independent. Maybe they felt dependent on that job or... Yeah. Could be for some of you, of course. Because it's a general reading and so many different messages are coming through. All right, let's get more. Let's get oracle cards here for crystal number two. So 
they're feeling more healed, like they've grown, they've healed their heart, balancing their masculine and feminine, accepting this connection and what they're feeling. Could have been in denial before, but I feel like that means they're no longer in denial, that hanged man. And for some of you, they could have just become single or in the recent past become single and independent because we do have this King of Pentacles too. He's very strong and stable in himself, you know, taking care of business for himself, just like the queen takes care of her business too. How does this person feel for crystal number two, please? How does this, thank you. Oops, keeps falling. Release your ex. Yeah, wow, and I was going to put it right here. Yeah, so for some of you, the time has come to clear their energy. That's what they're doing here, releasing an ex. And that, o that might only be for some of you, like I said. What else? How does this person feel? Crystal number two's person. How does crystal number two's person feel? Thank you. Chemistry. Nah. Strong magnetic attraction here. So they're feeling insane chemistry with you. Very, very drawn into your energy. It's addictive. <laughs> Being with you is feels like addictive. Like they want more, more, more. Nice. So even if you're only spending little, bit, little bits of time with this person, I feel like um, they want more, more, more. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And it says very soon, right? Clearly decide what you want. That's them. And it will come to you now. That's the universe being able to deliver it because they're feeling that emotion of being there. So this is beautiful. Beautiful. And very soon. So remember what I said here, how I felt like maybe it was the tail end of a phase of healing. And it was heart healing. Mm. So yeah, it could be the tail end. And they're about ready to come forward with some sort of, um, you know, news or expression. Keep an open, keep an open mind. Your soulmate, ha. Huh? So they feel like maybe you're their soulmate, but you might not feel like you're, they're yours. Hmm. For some of you, you might not feel like they're yours because they're different than what you usually... It says here, they may differ from your usual type and expectations. Huh, interesting. So for some of you, you might have met this person and not really realized the depth of the bond because they're not like someone that you normally would go. Look at this, the bottom reconciliation, being told to take that. I do feel like for some of you, it could be. Um, back to this one, though. Keep an open mind. So just because someone isn't doesn't fit the normal structure for you that you usually would you know like someone that you would normally be attracted to I guess your usual type doesn't mean that there's not more there so you might have doubted that this person was like a soulmate because they're not your usual type or something but this person feels like you are their soulmate and reconciliation spirit bringing that to my attention as I was talking about that open mind card um and this is very common, too, with Twin Flames, actually. I wonder what, if that's why Spirit brought that to my attention at that moment. Because a lot of times, like Twin Flames, um, they'll meet when one or the other is married or both are married. Or there'll be huge age gaps. Or, um, you know, they'll be thousands of miles away from each other. You know, there's these challenges. Um... And a lot of times it's, you know, not someone that you would normally, uh, it's not your usual type or your expectation for who you think your soulmate is, right? But then it takes you by surprise. So this is very common in Twin Flame connections. And I am feeling like Twin Flame reconciliation here when Spirit brought that to my attention, okay? So I definitely was feeling it here as well, but of course, only you know. If this person is your twin flame, okay? So there's a powerful magnetic pull back to you at this time is what I'm feeling there. 
and it doesn't have to be a twin flame for that reconciliation card either it could be you know a pat an ex-partner or it could be someone that you you simply had a connection with maybe not even a relationship but you felt something and they come back into your life wanting more crystal number two how does their person feel please how does crystal number two's person feel Ooh, don't fall i almost fell on the floor i caught it Ooh, date they want to get together yeah they want to get together with you setting a date so they want to somehow communicate that they want to get together and set some sort of plan into action here hmm. there might be some planning at that date or something future planning or something maybe talking about these dreams interesting okay so there's a lot of sharing i feel going on there communication sharing palm tree nice yeah look at this growth stability security so they're really wanting to what is that ding coming from that's very strange everything is muted i don't know maybe somebody's getting a ding <laughs> on their end um palm tree though so they want to be a stable force in your life um they have grown a lot is what i feel that that card is saying and yeah that's muted anyway i was just double checking the ding sounds but everything's muted so i don't know that was a random phantom ding <laughs> for someone while i was talking about stability and growth so and communication so maybe you're getting a ding on your end while you're watching this. <laughs> it happens. You'd be surprised. I, I usually say it in readings just so you guys know. And then all of a sudden I'll get comments like, yeah, I got a text right at that moment. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> and I just find it funny because usually it's me forgetting to mute things. <laughs> but no, this time it's muted. I don't even know where that ding came from. Very odd. Okay, we have, ooh, wow, that's powerful. Union, okay, engagement ring, union. It might not be, you know, a, a proposal right now, but I feel like this is saying here that this person sees you as someone that they could commit to uh, for the long term, okay? Wanting to come into union, you know, with you, come together in a relationship, at least start something if it hasn't been started yet come into some sort of partnership some committed partnership union of some sort beautiful and it could lead to you know long term is what i feel that card is saying there what else thank you passion nice insane chemistry yeah we already had that didn't we you had chemistry here yeah wow it's very powerful between you guys so you both like each other equally you know there's a powerful love between you uh wanting to have fun with you there too coming through wanting to have a little fun so enjoying time together very nice yeah date right wanting to get together and have some fun maybe on that date changes in 29 number 29 for someone for some reason uh, and changes so there is big change coming here like I said there is a phase of healing that's kind of coming to completion is what I'm feeling and there's been a lot of personal growth so you might even like see this person as you know changed quite a bit since the last time you maybe talked to them or seen them whoa okay that one did hit the floor and this one didn't so let me just see this one first duality mm, so not everything is just black and white and this is also about coming into unity so mm, transcending the 3d because this is um what i'm feeling here is like separation consciousness so overcoming separation consciousness feeling more unity consciousness yeah union for some of you you could be twin flames 
in inner union already. Inner union with yourself. Yeah. And overcoming that duality. Okay, let me get that other card. Oh, wow. So the other card that came out with it, exactly the energy I was feeling there. Past, present, future. So you do have a past, past, present, and future in the 5D. It, everything exists on the quantum level simultaneously. Okay, so this is rising above 3D consciousness. It's exactly what I was feeling. Um, and I do feel like they belong together there. Rising above... 3D consciousness and realizing the unity of all things, the oneness. Hmm. That could definitely bring about union if you've both gotten to that point. Unity consciousness is big. Oh, we got growth again. Nice. So another card about growth. So they are feeling like even they are, I feel, feeling proud of themselves for all of the progress that they've made, okay? beautiful and then we have abundance so abundance yeah this is beautiful rising you know vibrations remember i said here with a very high vibration rising into the energy of happiness joy love abundance all of those high vibrational energies can only allow the universe to bring in more of that you know it can open up the door i guess we could say to more of that coming so this is really good. And let's see what else for crystal number two. How does their person feel? Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So wow, trying to be more authentic and just show the world the real you. The true loving person. Um, you know, that consciousness within. At the core, we are all love, right? So wanting to be more loving and show the world more love being more accepting and loving of others look at a time to give rather than take so wanting to be more giving more loving new moon and virgo wow very beautiful and what else do we have with it have faith and nothing is set in stone okay so have faith in their dreams they're feeling like they can have faith in it but they do realize that you know nothing is set in stone yet that they have to take action um, to resolve whatever it is in their life that they need to resolve to balance their own energy to heal themselves and then they can move forward and take action um, toward those dreams when they're feeling more ready to do so but realizing here that everyone has choice too right nothing is set in stone so they could um if this is someone who was denying feelings, I mean, they might be fearful that you've moved on from them, you know, that you're long gone or that you won't forgive them or something like that. Let's see. How does crystal number two's person feel? There's one. Can't show you that one. Can show you that side though. Healing. Yep. Definitely feeling that for sure. They're definitely going through some sort of healing phase. Lots of personal growth through that healing, though, which is good. Ooh, I like that one. Very nice. Oops. I'm going to try to straighten the deck to get a couple more. Crystal number two's person. How do they feel at this time, please? Ooh, there we go. Let me have two more here that I can show you. Okay. So the first one out was healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So they feel like your relationship has helped them to heal. Okay, very important message there. Has It really has helped them to go more inward and see where they needed um, healing, you know. And now they're feeling more ready for a relationship. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Aha, there's that page of cups energy, okay? Believing that you're their soulmate that came through over here and really dreaming it and feeling that emotion of being with you manifest physically. Then we have this one here, which is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So very powerful love that they're feeling. I was definitely feeling that with that Queen of Cups too. 
and also this one which is beautiful this dove peace and harmony and happiness beautiful imagery there new beginning new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately so new beginning they are feeling this new beginning this is what they're desiring here let's get more for crystal number two I'm just going to get a few of these out. And then we got more. We have message cards too. I feel like this reading ran pretty long. Sorry guys. Well, I'm sure you don't mind. But crystal number two's person. How do they feel? Mm, listen with your heart. Nice. So they want to open their heart and really listen. And it fell right on top of that queen of cups too. Beautiful. Three. Let's get one more. How does crystal number two's person feel? There's four. Thank you. So we have listen with your heart. That's them opening their heart and really paying close attention to what they're feeling. Okay. Could have been stuck in their mind in the past. If they were in denial at some point, that was definitely fear in the mind. So now they're shifting into heart. Ooh, true love. Beautiful. This love is once in a lifetime. So you're very special. The love that they feel for you is very special. Mm. Yeah, your love has made the difference. Look at this. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So you've really made this person feel so much better about themselves. Um, that's what I was saying about the healing. I feel like you've really helped this person. This relationship has been, um, or connection, if it hasn't been a relationship yet, has been truly healing for both of you, I feel. Okay. Spiritual connection. Mm, falling right here again over this reconciliation. See, I do feel for some of you, that this is a highly spiritual connection. This person feels this strong, sacred bond with you too. Very strong connection here. Okay, we're gonna get a few message cards out too from this deck and then we got what, what, two more after that as well. What would crystal number two's person like to say or how do they feel at this time, please? Crystal number two's person practice self-love so nice so they are what i feel here is that they're really taking better care of themselves they're practicing self-love they're choosing um better for themselves you know maybe they were a people pleaser in the past and now they're choosing themselves very nice you know realizing that they are worthy very nice I want to be with you forever. Wow. Powerful message there of forever. So we did have that strong engagement ring energy too. All right. We got a couple here already. So that's the end of that deck. I can't put them back, but we have, Ooh, we will be together soon. My love. So this is saying soon, which I do feel like, yeah, this might've been the tail end of something so wanting to come together soon and never give up hope so hoping card 44 as well um hoping that you don't give up hope on them that you keep faith for their love their connection with you beautiful let's get some of these as well first one Ooh, I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense ah so what they were feeling remember what I said earlier how strong the feelings were. They, they, they couldn't handle it. That's why they sabotaged and denied feelings. So a little bit of reasoning coming through there. Let's see what else, please, for crystal number two. What would that person like to say? Or how do they feel at this time? I want to make things right. So they do want to, I feel, apologize with that card. Mm. there's some sort of an apology that they're wanting to give you for some of you you tame my demons wow so they might have really had a tough time opening their heart and you've really helped them to kind of tame those demons that kind of scared them away from love is 
what I was feeling. Wow. <laughs> I came out super fast. I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. Yeah. So they do need your forgiveness for something. And that might only be for some of you. Um, but this person, for some of you, really wanting to make amends, make things right, apologize, move forward, be together. Wow, powerful twin flame energy here for you twin flames. Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. So they see themselves in you. Okay, powerful recognition there, soul recognition. What else for crystal number two? How does their person feel or what would they like to say at this time? You are my one and only. Wow, so they are committed is what I feel with that card there. Their heart is committed to you. That doesn't necessarily mean in the 3D. You know, if you're not with this person, this could be at the, you know, soul level. They could be wanting to be with only you, not looking. Their soul is not desiring any other, okay? I reread our messages all the time. Wow, so they are very focused on... You know, the times that you have spent together, they really, I feel, reflect on those good moments and want more of that, you know. And I fantasize about what our life would be like being together. There it is right there, too. Yeah, Page of Cups. Definitely a lot of fantasy about the future and what they desire with you. But again, being in that energy and feeling that emotion is really good to drawing that same vibration in. So this person will start to see more of that in their reality, that type of energy. All right, crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the red jasper crystal, and the anime tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? So the person on your mind at this time, how do they feel at this time? For crystal number three, how does their person feel? Whoa, couple there. Tending the future. Ooh, wow. Tending the future and past lives. So they feel like they have a very strong bond with you, past life connection possibly. Uh, high level soulmate or twin flame. Of course, only you know if this is your twin flame. They might not even know that term. But they definitely feel a very strong bond with you. And tending the future. This is big energy of forward movement. So making some sort of plans or taking some sort of action. All right, for the future. Beautiful. There we go. Let's get some tarot here for crystal number three. I almost said two. Crystal number three. Okay. How does their person feel at this time, please? Crystal number three's person. How do they feel? How does crystal number three's person feel? at this time ace of swords wow so they've gained sorry i have a hair tickling me there we go ace of swords um they feel some sort of clarity about a new beginning here okay so they are clear they want to move forward start something new what else so crystal number three how does their person feel Wow, fancy flyer. Three of Pentacles. Mm. So they're wanting to work together here. Yeah, they're wanting to work together and plan something. Okay. So there's some sort of plan that maybe the two of you have discussed or something like that. Maybe something to do with the future too, okay? Because tending the future, right? Okay, let's get more. How does crystal number three's person feel? Hmm. Eight of pentacles. So hard work paying off. Huh, okay. 
So they've already put some, hmm, some sort of investment into this connection. Okay, could be, sorry, there's like hair, what the heck? <laughs> and it keeps tickling me when it gets to me. Um, yeah, they put some sort of investment into this connection already. Could be energetic as well. Could be like healing work that they've put in, but I feel like this is more physical today. So they've taken some sort of steps in the physical. Moving forward, work paying off, hard work paying off. And maybe something that they, they want to do together. Is this my card? Wow, that was fast. It fell out as I, okay, it's been slow going. Knight of Pentacles. So there's been steps, but it's been kind of slow. It moves kind of slow. Everything's kind of moving slowly. So this could be something that you've both kind of talked about for the future. Maybe you talked about it a while ago, you know, and now it's starting to come to fruition. They might be trying to make this happen now. Okay, Ace of Swords. Clarity on a new beginning. Why the Ace of Swords? Nine of Swords. So there was anxiety before. I need more than that, though. Oops, we had some blur. Nine of Swords. So something that was giving them anxiety before. They've gained some sort of clarity. Can I get a, another one on that, please? Overthinking. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so... Your person, okay, and this might only be for some of you. Your person was feeling stuck. They were overthinking a lot here, okay? Lots of overthinking, sleepless nights. And they might have felt bound to a marriage or connection that they felt they couldn't get out of for some reason or another, okay? Um, coming through really strongly here, they feel like it blocked their happiness, you know? Um, they weren't happy in this situation. They even had, yeah, sleepless nights about it. I mean, the Eight of Swords is like a mental prison. It's constant, um, you know, self-limiting beliefs, which is just that main one that came through was feeling stuck somewhere and not able to get out. Like, yeah, no, you can get out. You just have to. You have to work through all of the things that come up to get there, you know. But that's something that goes on in the mind. That's fear. So I feel like your person, even if it didn't have to do with a marriage or connection, they want to be happy and now they're clear that they want to be happy. Okay. And they're realizing that they have to make that choice to let this go. So that's why I feel like now they've gained clarity on these negative thoughts, okay? They have they could have been at a distance for quite some time working through this because this is a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking. Um, they could have pulled away until they gained this clarity with that Ace of Swords. And they know that it was blocking their happiness. They know that you make them happy with this Sun card coming out. But it was like, but I can't get to crystal number three because of this. I'm stuck here. You know, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. And it could be anywhere. These are general readings. Keep that in mind. Definitely a marriage coming through for someone. But it might not be. Okay. It could be a job. Maybe they had a contract for a job. Justice, right? Having to get through the court system. Maybe they wanted to be free of their contract and they weren't being allowed to and they were trying to figure out a way to do it. And it was giving them anxiety. So this could be, that's why that Knight of Pentacles could be a very slow moving situation that you have here. But this first person feels this strong soul bond to you and kind of knows that they want a future with you here, tending that future. And this is also tending the future here, okay? Okay. Walking away from something that's no longer serving, um, you know, really choosing themselves and not feeling stuck somewhere where they don't want to be, that's, that's tending the future too, you know, having to let go of something in order to move forward. Three of Pentacles, please. 
So wanting to work together here, it was what I was getting with this one today. Wanting to work together, it could be at a plan, four of cups, something in the past that you might have planned that fell apart. Can I get another one? Wow, this is an intense reading. Something in the past that you planned with this person, very direct messages too. I feel like I'm reading for an individual and not a group. Um, well, some of them are group messages, but some of them are so specific. Um, so something you planned with this person in the past that may have fallen, fallen apart and you were disappointed and so were they. Can I get another one now, <laughs> please? That you couldn't be together. Huh. Wow. Okay. So you couldn't be together. Yeah. So for some of you, wow, you guys thought you were coming together at some point. There might have been a lot of false starts or, or maybe one, <laughs> maybe not a lot. Maybe for some of you it was a lot, but for what I'm feeling here, there was a false start. You you both were disappointed because you both thought you were going to be together, but then you weren't. You couldn't be. Okay? For some it could have been for this reason or it could have been another reason for some of you too. But you did plan on being together at some point. And then it fell apart. And it was very disappointing. So they want to work on coming together is what I'm getting here. And making that an actual reality. We do have the Eight of Pentacles there, which is the hard work paying off. So whatever work you guys are putting into coming together is going to pay off is what I'm feeling. Okay. So let's see what else for. Now we need the Eight of Pentacles, a clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like there's even more to this story. I don't know. There's something here that... For some of you, mm, yeah, wow, powerful. I knew there was more here for this four and five of pentacles. I don't want to shuffle because I want to focus on that question. Um, for some of you, this is pretty big. This was like, you may have even been, and this might not, maybe it's not the same as this person here. It could be for someone else. Maybe you were, what I'm getting is like a, an engagement. There was maybe an engagement here. And then there wasn't. So it like fell apart. Like, I don't know. Very strange. You guys, if, it, if it's you, you'll know. So take that how it resonates for some of you it was an engagement so maybe there was a planned engagement or maybe they actually proposed and then it fell apart and you you split i don't know very very strange energy <laughs> coming through there but it was definitely about being together so now wanting to work together to be work together to be together again hmm okay eight of pentacles hard work paying off what is this about nine of pentacles and ten of swords oh yeah see single someone wasn't single this is such a mixed bag here for for some of you i feel like this is super specific to someone and for others i feel like it has a lot to do with this ending this painful cycle of overthinking so this is good because that means internal work, the inner work is being done, the thoughts are being, you know, quieting the mind. And then Nine of Pentacles is about being single independent. So breaking free. And what was causing these thoughts was feeling stuck. So yeah, that's why this, this cycle is ending. Someone's becoming single. Okay, now I don't know. I mean, that could be the same here. Maybe they thought they were breaking free at some point and you guys were starting to move forward, but then it didn't happen and it kind of hit the brakes or something. I don't know. That's such a strange energy, this middle, the second column here. All right, let's see the Knight of Pentacles. How does Chris, I can't believe we're still on tarot. <laughs> 
Wow. How does crystal number three's person feel? King of Pentacles, so stable. And the high priest, is it two there? No, high priestess. I thought that was more than two. I mean, more than one. High priestess. Okay. So intuitively, they know that they want a stable, solid connection with you. King of Pentacles is good because they do feel more stable in that choice. They do feel more stable on the inside. They've gained clarity. They're not confused anymore. So this is really good. It may still move forward slowly coming out on the Knight of Pentacles here, but their intuition is guiding them now. So if there is slow movement, just know that everything's kind of happening for a reason. Okay, even this here, if there was a false start, I do feel like it happened for a reason. Okay, how does crystal number three's person attraction? First one flying out. So they definitely are super attracted to you. Very passionate about you. Make them very happy. Free yourself. So see that it's time to take back control of your life. So they are feeling more free because they've taken back control of their life when they thought they had lost some sort of control there. They thought they were stuck and they couldn't move. And then they realized, no, I have the power to break these chains. I have the power to choose myself. How does crystal number three's person feel? Whoa. We had some pretty, uh, pretty intense tarot there. Soulmate. Wow. So yeah, they feel like that soul bond, right? Like I said, they might not know the terms, soulmate, twin flame, you know, the labels or whatever, but they definitely feel that strong soul bond for you and new love. Yeah. So see, they are wanting to start something new, leave this past behind. It's falling right near here as well. So, and again, this might only be for some of you right? If this is them leaving a relationship or a marriage behind, this is them saying, you know, I do want a new start, a new beginning with a new person, meaning you would be the new person if they were in something here. Okay. And we did have this single independent come out here too on that, you know, eight of pentacles. So in order to get involved and stay involved <laughs> work together to free yourselves you know if you're both maybe you're both in connections too these are general readings it's very possible those aren't my cards me just dropping deck um yeah it's very possible that you know you're both in a connection even okay and clearing um both of you clearing out past energies um relationships that are no longer serving things like that coffee cup nice meeting and conversing. So they're feeling like they want to meet up, converse maybe over coffee, um, really wanting to savor some moments with you. Very nice. <laughs> Ooh, ha, okay, fear, yeah. So in their current situation, whatever the situation is they're leaving behind, they might've been made to feel like they weren't good enough. Fear, ego issues, self-sabotage, lack of confidence, okay? Frustrated in that relationship and it's falling right on top of free yourself. So I feel like they're super frustrated um, in that current situation and just trying to break free if they haven't already, okay? Because remember, energy is very fluid. So this could have already happened in the recent past or near future um, or even presently. Ooh, Wow. They see you as long term here. They feel like even though maybe this went bad in the bat in the past, they still could commit to the right person. Union, wedding, soul connection. It says married there. So for some of you, like I said, they could have been married. Eternal love, everlasting promise falling right on top of that soulmate card. So they do feel like this is a long term commitment that they could really embark on something. Um strong and solid with you we have ascension or ascending sorry ascending so wait do we have another one what i thought i just nope now well, the back of the cards have silver too i thought i saw one flipped over in there so ascending transcending obstacles nice 
Look at that, preparing for union. Nice. That could be this here, you know, working together, preparing, tending the future, pretending, I mean, pretending, um, not pretending, preparing, I couldn't get the words out, preparing for a union, um, but working together, tending that future, you know, taking the steps necessary to get to that place where you can be together. Okay, let's get more. Crystal number three's person, how do they feel? Free as a bird. <laughs> Free as a bird coming through. Inner journey, yep, that was that inner work that I was feeling coming through for sure. They were definitely focused on healing um, all of these thoughts. And then we have ancient wisdom with it. So this is really tapping into that intuition and following so I feel like they're feeling like they can trust their intuition now. Maybe in the past they didn't. Ah, Self-love. Nice. See? Choosing themselves. Not allowing other people or situations to hold them back from what they truly desire. Again, I felt like they feel like this situation that they're in, whether it be marriage, relationship, whatever it is, was blocking their happiness. So now it's time for them to choose themselves. It was so fast. We have unlimited possibilities. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a feisty one. Unlimited possibilities. So seeing the possibilities for the future. They feel like you guys can, you know, really kind of conquer the world, you know? Like, um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean like accomplish a lot, you know, together. They see the potential here in this connection with you. Okay, let's get more. Crystal number three, how does their person feel? You're very close, nice. You're very close to achieving your goal. So they're feeling really, I have to say, good here. They're feeling like on top of the world. The sun energy did come out as well because you do make them happy. So now the closer they get to you, the more happy they feel. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Yep, so there's definitely that resolution coming through. Very good energy. A time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. So they're feeling very generous with their time right now as well. You might be seeing this person more. Generous with their time. They did have coffee cup, right? Let's see here. It's time to release negativity and a new start is coming and surrender to the divine. Came out all together here. All right, so yeah, releasing negative situations, full moon in Scorpio. Definitely time to free yourselves, okay, is what I feel here. You're both kind of freeing yourselves from negative situations. A new start is coming, so it's time is what I'm feeling there for this new beginning, uh, coming back together for some of you, and surrender to the divine. Okay, so a trust trust and have faith they're feeling the, like they can trust their intuition they can trust their guidance trusting in the universe that everything is going to come together as it should okay oh let me clear these i don't think i did well i did when i put them away after crystal two but we want to clear them again crystal number three please how does that person feel for crystal number three how does their person feel, please, at this time? How does crystal number three's person? There's one. Let's get more. I'm getting a few anyway. These are hard to shuffle, so I'm just going to keep shuffling and get a few of these. How does crystal, thank you. How does crystal number three's person feel? How does crystal number, thank you. I think we got all of them. One, two, three, four. So, uh, this one I can't show you. That one I can. That one I can. That one I can. Okay. Wow. These are kind of similar, huh? Well, these two at least. All right. So first one up here. Beautiful wings with a beautiful big heart there in the middle. I feel like that's them feeling more open-hearted toward you 
and this connection. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So realizing that memories are important, making more memories. So I feel like they want to make more memories with you. Beautiful. Another one with heart with wings. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available for you or to you. Follow it with faith. So see, they are following it with faith in the divine, realizing that the past needs to be released. Feeling stronger and more solid in that too. This is new beginning. Yes, it is. The dove, beautiful peace and harmony with happiness with that sun behind it. So they think, feel like they're feeling much more at peace with themselves and more happy on the inside. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So feeling like a lot of passion for you and a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. My love, your love fills me with light. I love you. So beautiful message for you there from your person. Very nice loving you tremendously here and really getting more and more happy the closer they get okay let's get these there's one keep on going we're gonna get a few of these too there we go that was a fast four oops Oh, wow. Look at that. See? They felt stuck in a pattern. It takes strength to realize or recognize the need for change. So your person has, that's why that clarity came out here. That's what them realizing the need for change, okay? So they definitely feel, um, they feel very comfortable about making that decision because they know with clarity. Ooh, look at this. Nice. So they are acting as if you're already together. They're feeling like you're already with them. So their heart is devoted to you here, okay? Very beautiful energy there. Working with the universe, too, to bring that energy in. Ooh, love indoors. Look at this. This could have been taken a long time, like that Knight of Pentacles said. I guarantee it has, for a lot of you anyway. Love endures. Love, love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So I feel like now they feel like this love is strong enough to endure. This love is strong enough to make it through any storm. Beautiful. And wanting to take a chance on love. So this is like that full energy. And they feel like your lives will both be changed forever there. Okay, it says our lives are changed forever. So absolutely beautiful energy there as well. Wow, really wanting to come forward toward you. Okay, we got a few different message cards to get out for you today too. Crystal number three. How does that person feel or what would they like to say at this time, please? What would, thank you, there's one. I feel unworthy of you, wow. So see, in the past, remember not enough, wasn't that one of the cards here? Um, where they were made to feel not enough. Mm. They might have been feeling that for quite some time, okay? And now they're clear that, yes, they are. Please forgive me. They might have pushed you away because of it. Wow. That could have been what this was here, too. Yeah, that could have been what it was. Maybe they were going to move forward, and maybe whoever is surrounding them made them feel like yeah right that isn't going to happen and then they started to doubt themselves and then they pushed you away they could have self-sabotaged for sure i am hurting and healing please be patient with me yeah so they are still working through it's possible that they are still working through some of this um mind stuff okay there was a lot we have the eight the nine but we do have the end here of that painful cycle so I do feel like they're coming close to, if they're not already there, because energy is very fluid, if they're not already there, I feel like they're they're very close to being okay, because they have um, being okay and clear in their mind about it, because they do have that Ace of Swords out first as well, okay? And we got one more here that 
trying to put that deck back is not easy right now. <laughs> you bring me peace and happiness. Oh, beautiful. So you do make them extremely happy and make them feel at peace. Beautiful. Let's see what this deck has to say for crystal number three. What does their person want to say at this time? Or how are they feeling for crystal number three, please? What does that person want to say? Or how do they feel at this time? I hate seeing you with them. I fantasize about you. I hate seeing you with them. Huh, interesting. Some of you, you might be with someone else. Yeah. I did kind of pick that up briefly. <laughs> Somewhere along this reading, I said you might both be. Yeah, so for some of you... Yeah, you could be with someone else too. So maybe they're working on releasing themselves and maybe you're working on releasing yourself as well. Or maybe you're not. Who knows, you know. <laughs> um, I fantasize about you. So this person, you're always on their mind and they are fantasizing about your connection, the love that they feel for you. Being happy with you. What the future holds. What else? I underestimated how important you are in my life. Okay, so they might have, again, I kind of picked that up, that maybe they pushed you away out of feelings of unworthiness. It could have been a self-sabotage here. That could have been why this was so confusing earlier. <laughs> it could have been you were both all guns a-blazing, ready to go, ready to go, and then, nope, somebody pulled away. Very hot and cold, you know. Could have been. I really do care even though I don't show it, okay? So if this person has really kind of been the stoic, you know, not showing emotion toward you type, I think it's because of whatever was going on in their mind here. Lots of mind stuff. So they might have been kind of holding back emotion and not really showing you that they cared. And that might just be for some of you too because these are general readings. Let's get more. Let's get this deck too for crystal number three. I never wanted to walk away, but needed to so we could heal. Okay, so there was in a recognition here, uh, a deep awareness of themselves, realizing that they had to heal something within. What else? I will do all that is necessary to get back to you. And I find it very synchronistic how it's falling right near all of this conflict here. Okay, so they're going to work hard. Whatever it takes is what I feel in order to get back to you. What else for crystal number three? Ooh, I will be honored to share my last name with you. So long term, looking at possible marriage here for the future. Okay, what else for crystal number three? How does their person feel or what would they like to say? You are so important to me. So see, it had said that they underestimated how important you are and now they've had this realization, this clarity. So now they realize how important you are and they're really working hard to, you know, save whatever it is that you had or come back around or make it come to fruition, whatever it may have been. Because for some of you, there could have been a complete disconnect. You both could have moved on with your lives or, you know, there, there was a lot going on here. All right, crystal number three, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that you found this reading helpful. As always, please give it a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.